Hi guys, uh, this is just a short video to show you how I set up my drogue on my boat. Because um, if you're going to do a lot of lure fishing, you just got to have a drogue. Uh, from my experience, if your boat's 18 feet, you need, it's best to have more than a 7 foot drogue, maybe a 10 foot, 12 foot. I started with a 5, gone to a 7, and I wouldn't mind it being a bit bigger because once the wind gets above 10 knots or so, um, 10, 12 knots, you really need a bigger drogue or you've got to change your fishing style a bit. So, yeah, always go for probably the biggest one you can get within reason. So I'll just show you how I set it up and uh, I just got an illustration on the ground here um, and we'll just uh, go through it as quick as I can. So I've just got a drawing here of a boat and so I just got a large bucket there and it all fits in the large bucket. Let's... Um, one of these guys, just a paint bucket, like a 10 litre paint bucket or a bit bigger if you can and it all fits in nice and tidy and I put that down the back of my boat uh, if I'm doing it from my side of the boat I'll stick it down that left hand corner you can deploy it directly out of that bucket into the water uh, and every time I get home I make sure I get it out and I make sure that it's all uh, untangled and um, ready for the next Next time I use it, I give it a rinse usually. Uh, now most of these ones, this is an Ocean Angler 7 foot one, but I'd go bigger if you had over 18 foot. Even with an 18 foot boat, I'd go bigger. They usually come with this sort of attach, well, they come with a bit of tape around here, but I didn't find that that good because sometimes they'd get tangled up and you'd wonder how to get them out of tangled, or you break one and you've got an issue. So I actually took the tape off and put a carabiner on here. And I've taped it up because gradually it's not working anymore but the tape's fine and that means if ever that gets tangled up or you break one as I have down here there's one broken you can just replace it stick through the carabiner or untangle it and then you're good to go so that's the main cord off the actual parachute and then this is the release cord underneath here so I have those set at the, the right length for uh, what I'm using from the back of the boat. So on the back of my boat, I have a piece of rope actually around one of my back stays and then just a, a loop of rope. And then I can clip this carabiner here onto that loop of rope. And I've got my release rope here with a loop in it. Uh, yeah, there, the release rope with a loop in it. And I have that through the carabiner. So when I just clip this onto the rope on my boat, both these ropes here are the right length so that the chute will open and if I want to pull the chute in I pull the release cord and then I can pull it all back and retrieve it into the boat. If I want to use the chute around the front of the boat um, then uh, I just did a little video the other day and I'll include it here where I have uh, a stay around this part of the boat or something on here and I have a rope running a loop rope running from there all the way around to the front of the boat where the pulley is right up the front and all the way back and then there's a loop in that rope which I will stick I'll undo this from here because if I'm going to put it on the front I'll take it off there get it off and then that will be clipped onto that loop with the rope going around the front and then it makes this release rope then it has to be longer because it's going out the front of the boat so that's why I have another piece of measured rope and that carries on and that rope so that when when I get to the stage of hooking this onto the rope and pulling it around the front of the boat so I'm pulling the chute around so it's going to be coming off the front of the boat then this rope here gets extended as well and I have a loop in the end of it and that loop I'll stick over something on my boat. I just put it over a, um, a fish rod holder. And then when I want to retrieve, we've on a boat swung around to face the wind. Uh, the advantage with that is that you don't get as much winded, so you don't travel as fast, it's not as rough, and you're out of the wind as well, which makes a difference. And then you can cast out to the back of your boat with the no chute there and then the lure comes towards you and then it gets near the boat then you can retrieve it and throw it out again the system works quite well so um, then when you want to retrieve your boat uh, your chute you can just 
leave that attached but you just pull this rope in for the release of the chute you pull the chute all the way back to here you can load it into your bucket and you'll just uh, probably just make sure all the ropes are out of the water and just looped around something so you can move off to another spot and then when you get there you can just throw the chute out again and everything will be uh, ready for a tow from the front again so that's generally how it works but uh, I'll just show you those pulleys and I did a decent pulley on the front there's quite a lot of force on it sometimes you'll find that uh, when it does get a bit windy then it starts to you have less options of where you can fish once it gets above about 10 knots well 15 probably I can't use the chute in 15 probably not not bait fishing anyway I could still lure because what you can do is you're slowing trying to get your drag your drift as slow as you can and then you're going to cast out and you're going to retrieve and work that lure until it comes back to the boat and then you've got to pull it up again so the faster you're traveling the less time your lure is on the bottom so you can still do it and if the fish are there you can still catch fish that way in fact it's quite good but you know it's getting rough and everything so you've got to uh, want to catch the fish at that stage but it does make it manageable whereas uh, you can stay out there in a little bit of windy conditions with a smaller boat um, or otherwise you've got to go for shelter somewhere you've got to change your fishing so you want a decent pulley like this one really they can even have a fatter rope than that i've got it attached to the top like this so it's in the middle at the front it's slipped around a little bit it's quite a lot of strain on that so it's a quite grunty gear and then that just is running back along the edge of the boat down to the back so the rope the two ropes just come down along the boat here and i've got them looping through here so it's a continuous loop uh, and then where it's tied there and i've got a a loop attached there that's where I put my carabiner on that uh, is attached to the front of the drogue uh, which opens the drogue so I put my hook on there and then I pull this rope around like that through the pulley at the front and that's the way you can put your uh, drogue anywhere along the side of the boat I'm not usually going side on because that's just a bit crazy with the waves unless it's very calm but you run that right to the front and then I'm attaching my extra bit of rope that I've got tied to the release cord down to the back of the boat or I'll actually put it on this um, I've got a rod holder in here and I'll just loop the loop in the end of the line over that and then that's why I've got the end of the, the release cord attached here I just take grab it pull the release cord and then pull the drogue along the side of the boat and put it in here and just pull the uh, the cord a little bit tight and wrap it somewhere so that you can move off and go to your next one. And you can just throw your drag over and just set it up quite quickly. Anyway, that's how it's set up here. And then when you've got it deployed out the front, it'll look something like this. You'll have uh, that release rope hooked around something there, a rod holder or something else. Easy to get off if you had to and then that rope goes out because these are just all they'd be straight lines and that's going out to your chute out the front and then your carabiner here has been transported to the bow of your boat via the loop rope with the little loop in it whereas you can pull it right towards the pulley and once you get it right near the front then it's it's got all the pressure is going to be going on the front of your boat there and then it's deployed there so when you want to retrieve it from the back of the boat you're just picking up this rope you're pulling it in and that releases the chute and then you just drag the chute right back to here and then you just pull any excess rope that's there without pulling too much on the the loop rope because you pull it in but you just pull it enough to get the ropes out of the water and then you can just charge off to the next place and you can just throw the chute over and you can deploy again so it's pretty straightforward if you want to transfer it to the back again well then you're just pulling this one here on the pulley all the way back to the back of your boat again you're throwing this excess rope back in your bucket um, then you're going to hook it onto that loop and you're going to hook it around whatever rope you've got on the back of your boat here and then then your chute's going to go out the back and you can put it anywhere along the side with that loop rope you can have you can be side on to the fishing if you want to but generally that's only if the wind is down and you're just trying to slow your drift if it's windy you don't want the waves coming side onto your boat 
That's about most of it, I think. Give it a try.